William Greenberg Desserts, and today we're going to be learning a classic, the black and white cookie. So what right. makes the black and white cookie so special and so dear to people's hearts? It's been around for a long time, and it is, everybody remembers it from their childhood. It is one of those special cookies everybody loves. It's like part cookie, part cake. Because it does have a different texture. You know, the icing has a specific texture. The cookie is sort of fluffier than a regular cookie. What really goes into a black and white cookie? Right, it, it is a little different. It's more cake than cookie, actually. You know, mm. it has like you know, it has buttermilk and it has more eggs in it. So it's you know, we use cake flour as opposed to you know the mm. regular flour. So you know, it's a little lighter. It has you know, leavening in it, so it'll rise a little bit more. And then the, and the icing is a real soft fondant. It's a little gooey and it's a little you know sweet. It's confectioner sugar and you know, and it's egg whites. And it's just a little softer cake here, but it's not that really hard. Right. Icing that you see on you know on a cupcake or mm -hmm. you see like even on a wedding cake it's 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 just it's gooier. Right. So for so people like, trying to cut corners, they buy a vanilla cookie and they buy frosting. You know, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. <laughs> and so where did the black like, and white cookie come from? You know, where did this tradition begin? You know, it's really funny because everybody thinks it's like the you know the quintessential New York City cookie, and it's really right. not a New York City cookie. It really, really? started upstate New York in, in a bakery in Utica. <gasps> You know, it came up with it, and it was a half moon cookie. Mm. And I don't know when it became adopted as a New York City cookie, right. but now we it's known as a New York City Utica. cookie. It's, it's our cookie now. Oh my gosh! So, Sorry, no. everyone. I know we're like ruining the history of New York. But to make the classic, mm. you're going to show us how to properly apply the icing because that's try. Right. the trick mm -hmm. here. I mean, it's really, right. it's a very exacting thing. So where do we begin if we're going to try okay. and make our own? Okay. First of all, you're going to begin with the vanilla because if you make a mistake on the vanilla, the chocolate will cover it up. You can't. You can't, you can't do it right, the other way, right? right. So, start, so start with the lightest right. color. So you start with the lightest color. All right. And is there a temperature, you know, do you keep it refrigerated and then get it to room temperature? It should be room temperature. So kind of start in the middle and make like as good a line down the center as you can. And what if like me, you have too much icing? You can never have too much icing. You never, okay, right. great. So you can just have it a thick coating. Exactly. I mean, does it need to be flattened? It doesn't need to be flattened. So just spread it over just as spread evenly it over. as possible. Start in the middle, spread it over as evenly as you can. And you can add more if and you, you need can to. Add more, which is or if you right. took too much, you can just work right. with what you you've got. Like lick it off the knife. <laughs> okay. And then you can use the same or you can change it. Start down the middle. Right. And just kind of so it's really line it up next to it. Got it. So if you really focus on the line from the beginning, then you can just kind of then you can work from there. Move out from, the from there. So yours is perfect. So, so really, the trick is just stay down the middle and then eat all your frosting off the and side. That's, that's it. Do. That's it. Well, thank you so much for teaching us how to properly make the real black and white cookie. Thank really you. Appreciate it.